Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to What's on Tap, hosted by Derek Egler. I'm your host, Derek Egler, here with another exciting episode. This one, episode 69. We are one day away from National Beer Day, April 7th. Um, so we are doing our National Beer Day pre-Beer Day episode 69 right here. So episode 69 of What's on Tap, hosted by Derek Egler, are national beer day eve episode um tomorrow i'll be coming with something different um today i am doing something i've wanted to do for a while guys this one has intrigued me ever since i saw it um so when i did see it i just instantly noticed this this little guy right here the blue martian this is from platform beer company um platform comes a uh, comes from us to uh from cleveland ohio um uh, maybe the one positive or good thing out of cleveland um their sports, not so much. Um, so hopefully this is a good beer. Hopefully this one uh, does change my opinion about Cleveland uh, as a whole, um, as I am one that will probably never, ever visit Cleveland because I have no need, no want, no desire, nothing at all um, intrigues me about Cleveland um, other than the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, you can probably do most of that online, though. Um, now the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, that piques my interest, that I did love, um, shed a, a few tears while I was there, um, and that was just mainly around the Walter Payton exhibit, um, rest in peace, sweetness, um, you are definitely missed. Um, so guys, I am uh, bringing to you, like I said, this uh, Blue Martian, um, it is a sour ale with natural flavors coming from Platform um, there in Cleveland. Um, it's an overfruited, slushy style sour ale, uh, notes of blueberry, vanilla, and tart. Um, so this one does contain some lactose. It is 8.6 ABV, guys. So this one is a flower. So we're going to test her out here. It does look like it has kind of like a violet uh, coloring, almost a blueberry color. Yep, there we are. Get a little bit of that blueberry, a little bit of that tartness there. Will you look at the head on that? Heady. So guys, while we're here, episode 69, What's on Tap, hosted by Derek Egler. Um, I'm just bringing it to you guys. If you're new to the show, I am just trying to bring you a wider variety of beers you may have not heard of may have not known about um trying to get you to think outside of your box um a lot of recent developments have people up in arms um considering your uh, your main corporate beers here in uh, the u.s um and that's all well and good everybody's entitled to your opinion you're uh, more than happy to have it um i personally um do not drink anheuser-busch bush light budweiser bud light any of those, um, nor do I drink anything under the Anheuser-Busch umbrella um, that I know of. Um, I'm not really into the mainstream corporate uh, uh, beers. I'm more of a kind of a craft guy myself, guys. The micro brews, I do like those. Um, when they came into the scene, um, I was actually on board with that because I was never really one um, that was really high on your, your Bud Lights, your Miller Lights, your Coors Lights, any of those. They're just, I, I'm just not, not, not a big fan of those domestics. Um, they've just never really done anything for me. Um, I don't like water, um, and I don't like those beers. It, it just, there you go. I mean, if I want to drink water, I'll drink water. Um, and I will pick water over Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, Bush Light. I mean, pretty much every beer I will, in those those uh, parameters, I will, I will pick over. Um, so we're going to try a little smell test i definitely get some tartness get the blueberry now we're gonna get it here
Looks like he was canned on 117 of 21. <clears throat> we're 22, so we're looking at a year or two old here. It's got some funk. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a... Uh, at two. Yeah, so this, I mean, this is a year, year and three months old. Um, not bad at all. Um, it, like I said, it's been sitting in there a while. I actually did pick up this uh, bad boy. It's a, it's a pint, pint of your Blue Martian here, your uh, sour ale with natural flavors. I picked up a pint of this for three seventy five at the store. Um, like I said, I was just kind of in the store, uh, walking around, perusing, per se. Um, noticed this. I'm like, oh, it looks kind of funky. It looks kind of cool. You know, let's just check it out. Um, I'm a fan of blueberry, so obviously uh, being a fan of blueberry, um, but also sours and fruit, I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, if it's fruity and it's sour, I'm on board. That's just how I am. And this one being uh, what it is, it clocks in at 8.2, like I said. Um, I, I would definitely say it's probably... Oh, sorry, 8.6. I'd say it's probably closer to like a 9 or a 10 right now at this point. You really get a lot of that vanilla on the nose as well. Um, and then you start getting some of that alcohol, some of the blueberry. Definite strong alcohol character with the lactose. Um in it but it is good it's nice um not too overbearing or overboard by any means it, it actually is pretty pretty good um like i said i, I probably I, I would not recommend drinking a four pack nor a six pack of these i would not um me being the connoisseur which i am um i uh i'd, I'd be uh probably be falling down and a regular goof troop um i i mean heck even if i drank two of these i'd probably be a regular uh whoosh, to the moon it's almost got like a uh like a cask age or a barrel age um to it and i really wish i knew exactly how old you were nope oh there we go there we go one seventeen That's 117.22. So a little over a year old, guys. And who, baby. Keeping a cool, dark place like a refrigerator. Whew. And that's another thing that I've loved to do. Um, I'm one, I kind of like to get a beer. Um, and every now and then I'll, I'll come across a six pack or a 12 pack. Um, that's that's pretty exquisite pretty good um and i don't want to drink them all um i kind of like to experiment and see how how the different beers taste um if they're aged um so i'll age stuff um quite oftenly um been running really low um as of late um you know you do uh 60 now on 69 episodes um of what's on tap um and you, you kind of dwindle you kind of dwindle your beer a little bit down um so you know um awesomely enough though uh episode 70 tomorrow on national beer day um that'll be a cool one guys uh it'll be pretty sweet um so you'll want to check that out for sure um definitely gonna be bringing something new and different um that i have probably never ever ever reviewed on the show um, so that'll be cool. That'll be neat. Um, be something different. Um, but guys, like, like I said before, if you're, if you're new to the show, um, this is what's on tap hosted by Derek Eggler. I am the host with the self-proclaimed most, 
um, Derek Eggler, um, just giving you guys kind of a uh, kind of a nice little show. Um, I sit back, I drink some beer, I uh, shoot the uh, shoot the breeze, um, talk about what's on my mind, maybe ramble off into some non coherent um, uh, ramblings now and then, um, chatter. Um, but you know, all in good fun, guys. Uh, really supporting peace, love, and happiness um, for everyone. Um, definitely want to make the world a better place, kind of open people's minds um, and, and try to get them to think outside of the box and expand um, on things. Um, while I've kind of not preached, but I've, I've talked about, you know, just trying new beers, beers that you might like, uh, funky design, uh, flavorings, anything like that, styles. Um, also trying food when you're, when you're somewhere different or new, um, trying those new foods, trying those new drinks and just seeing maybe, hey, man, this is like the best thing I've ever had. Um, so me, I'm really in the search for the best beer um, that anyone, anyone can get. Um, these aren't really uh, limited or, or, or uh, non-seen beers. I mean, some of them probably are. Um, some of them aren't uh, widespread across the nation, um, which is another reason why I do, I do the show. I bring it to you guys, and, and I tell you where the beer is from. Um, and if you're in that area, if you watch this show and you've never had that beer, maybe you'll be like, whoa, man, I need to check that out. This guy just said it. You know, why not? Um, and some of them might be way too far away, but you might be able to find them online. You might be able to, you know, might have family in the area, uh, might be able to make a trip, um, enjoy the area. Um, so I'm just, I'm just really on my, my personal search um, for the best beer, um, but also trying to get the knowledge out there um to others um and, and trying to expand um the horizons of others and open your minds um just try new things guys i mean we're here one time um we don't have three or four tries at it um we're not a cat we don't have nine lives um so you've got to kind of hit it to uh, hit it in the spot um that first go round. um so guys i'm i'm here i'm bringing the show to you um and and i'm trying to help everyone out um, making the world a better place one beer at a time, guys. I think that might be the new motto. Make the world a better place one beer at a time. I think we've got it on episode 69. Um, and I think we're gonna, we are gonna make the world a better place one beer at a time. Um, truly, really will, guys. A lot of that vanilla, guys, and man, that. Good one. That was a nice, nice burp. Oof. Tasty. So we've got it here, guys. We're, we've got this blueberry um, <clears throat> vanilla tart, um, blue Martian, uh, the sour ale, natural fruits, natural flavors, sorry. Um, and this one, coming from Platform in Cleveland, uh, I, I mean, I would, I would possibly take a special trip um, just to visit this place. Um, and I've had platform in the past. I think I've done, um, a review here or there on platform. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just completely blowing smoke right now. Um, but I thought at one moment I had done a platform, um, drink here. Maybe not. Platform has obviously, uh, not made it. Um, if anybody out there, oh, hoo -hoo, they did the green Martian. I had the Green Martian slushy style era, uh, slushy style sour, episode twenty two, and that one hit number twelve. I mean, that's pretty pretty good right there, boys and girls. Pretty good. Um, so it looks like that is the only other platform I've done. Um, so I've done this is the second platform, and I did. I shook the absolute poo out of that, making sure everything down in there, guys. I like getting all the good stuff at the bottom. I love getting that good stuff, guys. And this is going to be the hitter right here. Almost like blueberry whiskey. Now you look. That's even darker. That's pretty. Mm. Now it's got a little bite to it, um, but it 
also is over a year old. So you might get that. Now, this stuff fresh, oh my, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be up there, boys and girls, up there high. Um, and like I've said before, guys, I've I've aged about everything under the sun imaginable. I'm still aging stuff. Um, back in the aging room. Um, so guys, I, I, I've I've aged about everything you possibly can. Um, and I've got stuff still aging. Um, I've got one that uh, it's got to be almost it's got to be close to 20 years old now. Um, it probably will be about 20 years old in the next month or two. Um, and that stuff, I don't know. Well, I, I'm I'm gonna drink it. I mean, I'm got you got to drink it, guys. You can't just sit there and be like, oh, I'm not drinking this. Yeah, right. I'm drinking it. Um, I mean, I might break out a one of the beers from 1992 eventually. Um, but that is a pretty special Three Stooges six pack from Panther Brewing. Um, I don't know if I'll ever, ever open that one because um, I've got two Larrys, two Curlies, and two Moes and a Sixer, and they're full. Um, that'd, that'd, that'd be a really hard one for me um, to, to do that to. It would. It'd just be really hard. Um, so I probably won't. But tomorrow's episode, guys, I still don't know what I'm going to do. Um, when I uh, When I was figuring out I'm gonna do do an episode today I was like you know like I don't know what I'm gonna drink but I'm just gonna go to the fridge and look and grab something there we go grabbed her um and you guys find the blue martian for 375 a can um that's a heck of a deal guys heck of a deal especially clocking it at 8.6 on the ABV I mean if you guys like blueberry you guys like sours you guys like alcohol you're gonna love this one see now right there you get the vanilla almost like a vanilla blueberry pie graham cracker crust whipped cream on top being aged like this it's almost got like a uh, like I said it's it's got like a strong liquor like a cognac um, a bourbon flavor to it um, and I actually kind of enjoy that. I, I think it's actually kind of good. Um, I mean, that, I'd say this is probably better than the Trevet. I mean, it, it's good. It's funky. Um, it's got that good taste to it. Um, I just don't know. Ooh, the Kaleidoscope was good. This, I think, is better than the Kaleidoscope. And yes, folks, I am a little, little bit under the weather. I think I got a sinus infection or something going on, but I'll be better. I'll be all right. I'll get through this. Truck it. Truck it through. Um, so let's see what we've got here. Um, whew. Where was I even at? See, then I get lost in my own translation, which, whew. So much going on up in this noggin, guys. It's hard to keep everything straight. Surprised I even know how to put my clothes on the right way most of the time. I don't match. Trust me, I don't. That is also a uh, a thing when you're you're slightly colorblind, like shades and stuff. Like to a sense, I'm not like completely color. Like I see some colors. I see colors, uh, but the uh, like my blues might be greens my greens might be blues um my oranges and reds are really really tough um yeah just sign shades i think shades get me more than anything um but i mean there's colors too where something will be orange and i'll say it's yellow or red yeah it's it's just whatever you know i've just I, you grow you learn to uh live with uh with things um kind of the cards you're dealt scenario you know just play your cards have fun. Enjoy. It's one ride, guys. One ride. We have no idea how long that ride's gonna that ride's gonna last, but you ride it, you have fun, you know. Um, <clears throat> so I was actually looking for where number eleven was. That's where I was at. See, once I just started seeing too many numbers. Ooh, that Blackberry Ballad from Duke Claw. That one was a that was a nasty one. The the vibrant potion was good too. Oof. I don't really think this could be better than the Vibrant. The Vibrant Potion was really good. 
This has got that vanilla. Like like I've said, guys, if you there is a blueberry candle, and I think it's Bath and Body Works makes it. There's my 375 label there. You guys know I'm not lying to you. I did pay 375 for this bad boy. Um, and I do it every day, all day. Um, but there's a blueberry muffin candle, and I think it was Path and Body Works. This thing smells like that blueberry muffin candle. With a tinge of alcohol in there. But not much right there. Until you actually drink it. And then, you know, and it's actually mellower out. Probably because I've had a few sips of it, but it's mellowed out now. To where it's not bad at all. Like, it's not bitey. Um, it doesn't have that real alcohol, like, bang to it. Right there it did. Right there it was like liquor. Almost like a liquor there. Hmm. Yeah, it, I mean, it. that's a big thing, is that trying all these different beers... Um, and these, these guys, these are opinions of mine. Um, I do hold my opinions pretty high, just because they're my opinions, obviously. Um, but being almost 41, um, and drinking the wide variety um, of beers for 20 years now, um, or almost 20 years, I think I have a pretty good um, thought process and, and theories and... Um, all that about beer. Um, now, obviously, I drank beer before I was 21. I got hammered um, before I was 21. Um, all in good fun. Didn't didn't want to cause any trouble. Didn't want to cause any problems. Just wanted to get wasted and have a good time. Um, and I did plenty of getting wasted uh, head in a trash can. Um, and that's one funny story. Um, me being a huge Chicago fan, um, I had a Chicago Bulls metal trash can, if you guys remember back in like the, the early 90s probably, mid, early 90s, um, metal trash cans. Um, they were probably like three foot tall, but they were metal metal cylinders. Um, I had a Chicago Bulls one because I am a huge Chicago fan. The Bears, the Bulls, the Cubs, the Blackhawks, all of them, the fire. I love Chicago, guys. I love it. I love the food in Chicago. I love the different communities and ethnicities and the diversity of Chicago. Um, I love Chicago sports teams. Um, I don't love the hustle and bustle of the big city, um, but everything else, I'm down. I love it. Love it. I mean, so much to do and see, so much to eat and drink. Um, and I'm not really worried about drink when I'm there. I'm worried about games and sports and food. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm about. Like, when I go to Chicago... I'm, I'm going for a game. I'm going for the food. Like, I'm going for some sightseeing, too. Like, the drinking is last on my list um, just because I love Chicago so much, and there's so much to do there. Um, and I do love old style. I will always love old style, um, just as I will always love my Chicago sports teams. Um, it's just a no-brainer. It's always going to be there for me. It's always going to be how it is. Um... See, right there, I get off on one of these whack tangents where I just go on about something. And, I'm like, and then I have no idea what the heck I'm even talking about anymore. So you get the vanilla, that nice mellow, like a nice creamy mellow vanilla. I'm telling you, you get that bl that blueberry muffin, Bath and Body Works candle. It smells just the same. I'm sure they don't taste the same though. I wouldn't taste a candle, by the way. So I put it in my mouth, swished it around. It was like I ate a, like I said, blueberry pie, whipped cream, graham cracker crust. 
But the darn thing was soaked in bourbon. Or cognac. It was it was soaked in liquor. Like high proof liquor. Like I'm talking like eighty up at least, minimum, maybe even ninety up. I mean this stuff's aged. It's strong. It was strong from the beginning. Um nine times out of ten you age a beer. Um that is a higher alcohol content, it gets stronger. Um, so crazy things can happen in cans and crazy things can happen in bottles. Um, this is one of those where I'm like, wow, this is, uh, it's interesting. Like, it's very interesting. Because I do occasionally like a good bourbon. Um, I love beer, love sours, love the fruited sours, love the gosa just kind of and that's something that i've realized going through like so many different styles um and and just different types of beers um i've realized you know i i'm gung-ho for a sour gung-ho for a gosa um that i can go anywhere and get a sour and go anywhere and get a gosa um and i'd say probably nine times out of ten they're they've been a hit like a guaranteed hit So through patience, perseverance, um, and obviously um, experimentation, um, I've kind of figured out what I like. Um, but even if I don't like something, guys, I still try it just to just to make sure. I mean, there's there's some beers I've had out there that are IPAs, stouts, and porters um, that were very good, very good. Um, there's also been some ghosts, some sours that I was like, eh. You know, not that they were bad. I just, me. You know, they just weren't. They weren't the best beer. Um, now, is this the best beer in the world? No, it's not the best beer I've ever had. Um, I rank everything pretty much up to New Glarus, um, the Belgian Red, because um, that is the New Belgian. I'm sorry, New Glarus, not New Belgium. Whew. The New Belgium, uh, or sorry, New Glarus Belgium Red. Um, still the best beer I've ever had. Um, hasn't changed. Um, and that was uh, episode 23, guys. So I've, I've hit through 47, 47 different beers um, that have not come up to that one and 22 before it. Um, I mean, I guess I will say if you... If you're in the beer industry and you're seeing this, you see this, um, you've ever watched any of these, um, send them, send them my way. We'll, we'll, we'll review. We'll, uh, we'll see if it's the best. Um, and like I've said before too, guys, you guys ever go out, try something or get something you don't like it, send it my way, guys. Um, hit me up, send it my way. I'm more than happy to uh, make a trade, uh, give you cash, wh whatever it may be. We, we can definitely work out a deal. Um, Especially if it's something I've never had. Um, that would be awesome. That would be so cool. But we're going to get back into the episode of me rambling. It's, I mean, working on about 30. I try to keep these 30 and under. Some of them have gone over. Some have been way under. Um, sometimes I like to talk a little bit more than other times. You know? Yeah. darn sinuses i tell you what but like i said guys episode 69 what's on tap hosted by Derek egler we did the platform blue martian uh a sour ale with natural flavors at 8.6 abv um now platform is coming to us from cleveland ohio um this one here an overfruited slushy style sour ale with notes of blueberry vanilla and tart um they probably hit it pretty much on the nose, guys. Like I've said earlier um, in the episode, you ever find the blueberry muffin candle? I think it's Bath and Body Works, but it's a blueberry muffin candle, and the thing smells exactly like this. I would not eat a candle, but I would drink this. So, it smells just like it. And 
like I've said before, it is it is just like a blueberry cream cheese pie or blueberry pie with whipped cream just drenched in liquor um maybe rum more it's more of a bourbon like a cask kind of like a wooden barrel kind of flavor um this one has lactose in it too which probably aids in that um has been aged sorry for a, a little over a year um but i'm in i'm down with this i do like it um i am going to say um that this one is actually better um than the dewclaw um it's a little cool a little funkier i like it a bit more um so i am oof, i am putting the blue martian from platform uh it is going to be our new number 11 on the list um so you guys mark that down as well got the burps now the coughs the burps the snots whatever you call it but guys i'm gonna cut it out here i'm gonna get back to it um and then i'm gonna be back tomorrow with episode number 70 on national beer day it's gonna be insane it's gonna be so much fun i'm probably gonna spend the next 24 hours figuring out what beer i'm going to review because it's that big of a deal for me for ep episode 70 on national beer day guys it's going to be absolutely crazy and insane um it's going to be a good friday so guys for what's on tap hosted by Derek egler this has been episode 69 we did blue martian from platform beer company in cleveland they are hitting number 11 on our list guys make sure to tune in tomorrow because we will be back until then peace love and happiness and see you later